guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dumebilia. If this is your first time stumbling on my channel, please be sure to subscribe and join the family. And if you already subscribed to me, you know how we do it. And if you're one of those people that just keep coming and going and you can't make up your mind, please, I urge you guys, subscribe, okay? And be sure to also hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop new videos. I drop new videos twice every week, okay? So yeah, straight into the video. This is um, a um, continuation of a two-in-one video that I begun in my last upload a few days back. I dropped a detailed highlight and contour tutorial. You can see the result here. So if you know you're interested in that, please be sure to check it out. I'm going to be linking it up somewhere right now. You can just click and watch it. So this particular video is all about this eye makeup look which I created and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this lovely black smoky eyes. Keep watching and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share and I'll see you guys in my next video. So to begin I'll be filling in my brows using the Davis eyebrow pencil in the shade 018. And now I'll be cleaning them up using the Elegale Pro Conceal in Fawn for the bottom part and in Chestnut for the upper part of my brows. So right now I'm priming my eyelids using the Elegal Pro Conceal in Fawn, blending it right in and I'll be setting it using the Visage Mineral Powder. You could use a random setting powder that you have or even a light shade of matte eyeshadow. So I'll be going into my Maybelline Clear Smooth Powder in the shade Cacao. This is the powder that I use to contour my face. I'm just going to be using that shade and placing it above my crease. Now I'll be using another contour shade of mine. This is the classic face powder contour kit. I'm taking that dark brown and placing it um, somewhat below the first shade that I placed and blending it in. Now I'm going into a black shade from my Stay Matte 12 eyeshadow palette with a smaller um, crease blending brush so that I can place that black color right in my crease. Now I'll be using a black pencil as my primer. I'm just going to be placing it on my mobile lid. You could use a black gel liner if you have one. So now I'll be using, I'm going into my sleek sunset palette and taking that really dark shade there and placing it all over my eyelid where I placed the pencil at first. So back with that same smaller um, crease blending brush, I'm just blending the crease for that to create a gradient. You can see how the color gets darker as we go further down from the crease. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm taking in that first brown shade from the Maybelline Cacao and just blending in the inner corner because we don't need the black spreading upwards in the inner corner. So because this is a very, you know, sultry, really dark, almost dramatic, bold kind of look, I prefer to use a matte shade for my eyebrow, uh, to highlight my brow bone. Then now I'm using my Bernard Glitter Glue and Black Glitters to just place right on my mobile lid. If you want to make it a little bit more dramatic, you could mix your black glitter with maybe a bit of silver or a bit of gold, you know just to give it some sparkle so cleaning off the cleaning off the glitter fallout now I'm going to be taking my Elegal Pro Primer it's creamy I'm going to be priming my lower lid because I'm going to also be smoking out that part of my eye and the primer is going to keep the smoked out shadow in place so that it doesn't spread further down 
Now I'm going to be using my Marbrook pencil to line my eyes, my waterline, and I'm also going to be tight lining my eyes to give it that really dark, edgy, mysterious, sultry, sexy kind of look. <laughs> then I'm extending that black pencil on my mobile lid too to smoke out. Now I'll be using that same um, black matte eyeshadow with that small crease brush to also smoke out, to further smoke out and set that lower lid. Give me a moment and I'm going to do my face and I'll be back to finish up with the lips. So guys, I'm back. My entire face makeup is done. So I'm going to be finishing up with my lipstick and I'm going to be doing something new. This is the shade of lipstick I want to use. It's the Murphy uh, Hot Shot. Murphy Liquid Lipstick in Hot Shots. I'm going to be using this because black smoky eyes best paired with um, a new lippy. Yeah, it's not like you can't default to the room from time to time, but you know, strong eye, cool lips, you get the concept. So let me just get right into it. Time for the lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> 